Okay, welcome to the Murray Cup uh, Grand Final. Uh, best of five. Destination Requiem versus Fetty Attack 786. Destination Requiem coming through the winner's bracket. Uh, undefeated. Uh, Fetty Attack 786 uh, initially starting in the winner's bracket, then having to fight their way through the much uh, longer lower bracket and finally coming out on top there. First bands, Slark and Beastmaster uh, from Fetty Attack 786. Both big metal bands, big metal bands. Now, Bounty Hunter and Doom getting banned out. Now, that's an interesting set of bands. I wouldn't really call them meta. I'm not really sure where Destination Requiem are going. Perhaps it's a specific strat they're trying to target, but we'll see how things go. First pick up for Fetty Attack 786. Um, they've banned the Slark, so that, I mean, that's an interesting first ban. And the Beastmaster. Are we going to see maybe, I think we'll see a support first pick rather than a core here. Okay, we're going to see Timber Saw on the offline. Um, no memes here. We see the Omni Knight maybe for Destination Requiem. I mean, he's a strength hero, so maybe not that great. Maybe a Lion pickup or let's see a Phoenix. Okay, off lane for off lane then. We're going to get the off lane Phoenix and the off lane Timber Saw. I like to see the Void or Warlock, um, Darkseer. I mean, the problem is these are all offlaners, so Phoenix would have to be played in the support role here if they were going to use those kind of strats. Second pickup for Destination Requiem. Um, Disruptor, so a really strong support uh, team fight. Um, yeah, I mean, big stuff. Okay, we're going to get Life Stealer plus Timber Saw. We've got Phoenix Disruptor. I mean, it's a new, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new meta uh, change of uh, since when Murray Cup started. So no invokers, no ODs. Uh, it's really. I mean, that's Dota 2, such a dynamic change in the game style, gameplay from patch to patch, thanks to Ice Frogs, uh, genius. I still wouldn't, I think we will see a lion definitely in this game. So, Wind Ranger banned out there. Response with a Magnus. Magnus, great team fight, obviously, with the Phoenix Disruptor. They already have so much utility there that kind of cutting down on that, dampening it, is going to be a key feature of the next three bands from Fetty Attack 786. Two bands here. Thank you. 
Hmm. Bonning Slarder? I mean, Life Seether presumably will safely encounter it. Timber Saw will go into the offlane. So, Slarder being banned by Destination Requiem, I'm not sure where they're going with that. Are they maybe thinking about having a Ricky pick? Void. Um, again, if the Phoenix is going to be the offlane, then the Void isn't the greatest plan, but I was saying Void plus Warlock, Phoenix plus Disruptor. Um, maybe with Phoenix in a support role and the Void in offlane, or even Void mid uh, with the Radiance Vanguard build. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would have... I don't know if I'd have bought it. I don't know if I'd have banned Void this late in the pick though. Puck for mid then, that's gonna be for uh so possibly he will hold the door on the puck. There is the line pickup as expected for Fetty Attack 786. VNG will probably, most probably, pick up that hero. That leaves them with uh, scope for their last two picks. Uh, Destination Requiem in a little bit of a bind when it comes to their last ban. Do they ban the core? Do they ban the support? Any supports here that would really change things around? Ooh, Drow Ranger now. They're all ranged on Destination Requiem so far, so I mean, this is a huge pickup for them. Even the supports will be hitting with a bit of a bit of a punch. Will this be, it, of course, will be a safe lane drow, off lane phoenix, disruptor pack, and that does leave space for either another hard support or um, an off laner. But I mean, most of the off lane choices are gone. Tidehunter still in the creep, but not ranged. I suppose Necrophos is an option as well if they wanted to play the phoenix as a support role. Oh, the memes are real. AA picked up for Fight Attack 786. Now, my only issue with this is we don't really have much HP healing going on at all. So, I mean, not really the nerf. I mean, yes, the Giant Ranger, if she goes into uh, a Satanic build, maybe, I guess, later on, could be useful. The Brood gets banned out by Destination Wreck. You know, I'm not really surprised. All their cards are kind of on the table here. Dazzled, probably, to round things off, maybe. I wouldn't mind seeing it on there, the dogs are getting banned out here. Or the warlock. 
I'm gonna bang out the bench. I mean, bench is kind of middle, middle of the top um, pack for supports at the moment. Still really decent. Um, really good, obviously, with the dry ranger. The aura could have been troublesome. Um, it does leave Destination Requiem with the opportunity to pick up Marana and we'll need support though, which could be fun. Would also go in with their picks and also the um, Slardar Bounty Hunter uh, bands, so that's interesting. Enigma in the jungle, we do love a little bit of that. Okay, sorry about that guys, welcome back, the old uh, Lux DCs, how the fuck is MFZ at mid already, no one knows. Uh, quick run through the heroes that we are going to be seeing today, we got, uh, we got Kingy on the Lifestealer, um, we got uh, Kill a Lot on the Ancient Apparition. Uh, Alex will go on to the Timber Saw. Half a, a half piece timber operation. V and G on the line as expected, and that leaves um, Nate Bloodseeker Great on the Tinker. Meanwhile, on the destination Requiem side of the fence. Oh, he doesn't even have uh, he doesn't even have Immortal guys. On Cedar Lowe's Enigma here for the jungle. We got Puck. Hey, he is standing in today. Uh, Disruptor Zeniston, uh, Zenistan, Zeniston, Zen Atron on the Disruptor. Mai then will pick up the Dry Ranger. On MFC in the mid on the Phoenix somehow. I think we have uh, some some bugs here, guys. Scale dive. Oh, 
No. So broke. Still. Okay, let's have a look at the initial items that have been picked up here. Ooh, very, very dark from Kingy with the Life Stealer. He's going to go ahead and pick up the uh, Blightstone. Uh, only one mango for Petty Attack 786. It's going to be on F Alex. He's also taken on board. Wonder if we'll see some board blockage. Has he learned anything from Renny? Um, Destination Requiem, no mangoes. Plenty of tangos and some shared. And we do have, hello. MFZ moving down here. He's going to place a ward here. He's going to place the ward here for uh, for vision. Uh, managed to move back around again. He's managed to get all the way back around in the house to move in. That's fine. But we do have five bomb for Vet Attack 76. So, I mean, they are thinking about trying. Uh, first blood here, but I mean he's just gonna swoop in and and out again. He's positioning himself just on the uh, cusp here. Swoops in, mistimes it slightly, but the right idea, and it does give them a lot of information about where people are. Instant TP from Alex to the uh, off lane, which will mean his creep block will be you know significantly better than it would have been. Didn't walk all that way back. Seniston already up here and waiting. We already have a ward from them here as well. Bird hasn't gone down from Timbersaw yet. Oh, nice little glimpse back. That'll fuck your block. Nice little cheeky play from Seniston there. Meanwhile, in the mid, it's makes Bloodseeker great again versus uh, Hay. And uh, let's see, is this the... Um, uh, Mid <coughs> played for them in the international um, open. Oh, nice little bit of aggression. Blink forward actually, and uh, expertly lands just outside of tower range. Bloodseeker great again. He is really toying here. A uh, really dangerous situation. That should have been solved. He's had brought in, but I mean, it's 8 and 1 versus 2 and 1 in the mid at the moment. <coughs> I'm not sure Tinker's the pick of it versus a puck. Okay, you know, managing to find the farm in the safe lane, and uh, you know, from personal experience, I have to say, this life stealer can do quite a bit. Oh, beautiful take down the top. Oh, and is he going to get the other one as well? I don't think he can. I don't think he can. Not enough mana. If he popped his mango, he would have got that kill for sure. But he decided not to. Salve up from Zeniston. But great first look, great little first blood from Alex on the timber saw. Uh, this is a disadvantage, obviously, of having uh, a two versus one on the timber saw. But I mean, three versus one is almost worse. Nigma walking all the way down in the mid to pick up his item. That will be the completed soul ring. 2 minutes 52 seconds. Not too shabby. And uh, Cedar Low really doing his bit for the timber core here in this game. Soul ring actually completed for Timbersaw as well, although he hasn't got it fired out yet. That will 
will give him even more potential. <coughs> like he could have soul ringed. I think his HP was pretty low though. It would have been a gamble, but with the drought down, Zenistar wouldn't have been receiving any extra damage. Not that he would have been getting any extra damage anyway. <coughs> oh, he does have it. Okay, so yeah, he would have. Now, this lane. MFC getting absolutely nothing as far as farming is concerned. Still level 2 at 3 minutes and 48 seconds. Compare that to the Timber Saw, who's on level 4, nearly 5. Glimpse back though, and uh, into the final static storm. Oh, blink forward, uh, chain forward, doesn't quite find the courier. Sentry Ward goes down, and we have got a rotation from Enigma from the jungle. That's still no soul ring on the Timber Saw. I think he needs to pick that up before he goes in for. 1 versus 3, but reactive armor doing so much work there. 14 HP per second, helium, keeping him alive. MFC now getting heavily harassed by kill a lot, and he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna have some serious issues here. Only one tango left, and those trunks still not finished. Managing to successfully kind of push him way out, still level 2. Meanwhile, Kingy managing to find level 4. Oh, and Tinker are going to get taken out finally in mid by Puck. I mean, it's 28 to 5 versus uh, 18 to 1. So, I mean, Puck handily winning the uh, mid lane there. Level 6, almost level 7. And now some tower pressure as well. Level 3. Nicely stacked camps here. This is beautiful. Been able to control this lane completely. And uh, I mean, Cedar will kind of though. Alex on level 5 now. Matzo on level 5. Zenison on level 3. So Zenison doing a good job not to, um, not to take too much of the lane XP there. Enigma level 5 as well. I mean, not the fastest jungle I've seen, but I mean, not terrible either. And does pick up, is that a smoke? Yeah, we're going to see a smoke soon with the black hole. I think they would want to do a bomb, but I expect it's more likely to be Timber Saw that gets it. Just needs level 6. Denied this one here, this one creep though will level up there. Yep. <coughs> It'd be interesting to see which way the tones go in this boot in this um, first match as well. Oh, Alex wrapping around behind. This is a sentry, not an orb, so they'll be able to see him biz gank, but not Tinker's uh, rotation around the trees there. Come on, so we're doing a good job of denying the creeps. Oh, a little bit too deep there. You're going to be punished for that. Glimpse back, glimpse back. Yeah, I think he goes down here. Here comes Enigma to finish it off. That was uh, a total mistake. Basically just went in for no reason. Mid tower falls. Make God seek a great again. Oh, having some real troubles here. He does pop and biz and he needs to get out of the obvious lines. Oh, but wait, VNG's rotated around. Here is his stun. He doesn't have his level 6, though. Only level 3. All lighter mana. No mana regen. No mana. Oh, he doesn't even have that skill. Tinker rockets, but... <coughs> oh, no, no. Back into there. Not like this. 
Yep, just careless play. Um, that hey, taking advantage of his more uh, superior experience. Top target of Fallout as well. Only took one timber saw death, so heavily capitalizing on just some very very small mistakes from Fetty Attack Seven Eight Six. Kingy just having the hope that his farm will be enough. Almost has armor finished. It's a recipe. He needs 150 gold, so three last hits, three three clean last hits, and he should be where he needs to be. Uh, missed that one though. And that one. If you get in about there and salvage that a little bit, but oh, they see it. It's been pinged out now. I mean, Phoenix can really mess that. And here comes Puck as well. Oh, the blink forward and the silence. Mine just absolutely toasted. Oh, and it all goes the way of hey, he's going to love that. He is actually here. Oh, here comes Matty with the cheeky rotation, and that is going to be massive. They will get the kill on the Kingy. And the Timber Saw is going to go down as well. There goes the Lion, and that's a... So... Pack went down there, this tower will fall, um, AA, there is a fortify as well, I mean, there we go, we're going to use the fortify now. There is just no fucking around with Destination Requiem, that is, that is fairly obvious here, I mean, three fights? And three towers go down, like instantly objective motivated after uh, after team fight. Hey, pushing a little deep here, but I don't think there's any real danger for the um, tread swapping, blink dagger wielding, fucker in here. Excellent, Cedar Low once again, aiding in the uh, Grand Quest. Oh, they find the double stack. Gonna harvest up that. Gonna get a quick pause here from Destination Requiem. I mean, one thing that we can say at least about Fate Attack 786, this zone here, when it comes to going high ground, if the heroes are up, March of the Machines, uh, Ancient Operation Ice Blast, um, Chakra, or Double Chakra from the Tinker, they have got some serious weapons in their arsenal when it comes to defending high ground. Hey Puck, what's up? Let's have a quick rundown of the uh, items that we've got finished up so far. So, I mean, Kingy's had those items delivered now. He just needs the recipe for the rar rar um, his ar armor of Mordina. Uh, VNG on the line. He's finished up Trank boots. Nothing much else. But he does have his TP. Kill a lot. Has got arcane boots. TP, nothing else yet. Make God Seeker great, still no TP boots, and that is costing them a lot of position. I mean, he's about five minutes off where he should be as far as farm is concerned, so it's interesting to see 
he's kind of getting shut down quite hard, I think, is, is the problem here. Um, uh, MSE almost has the mech finished up, also has that ring of regen for the rest of it, so I mean, that's not going to be long. Uh, Maso, he's gone first item Dragon Lance. He's got an Aquila as well as complete magic wand as well. Zeniston, poor Zeniston, has just a magic stick and brown boots. He will probably build Arcanes in it, Aether Lance, though, I think. Cedar Low already, Arcane Boots, Hood of Defiance, Soul Ring, and Smoke. That's huge. He has his Blink Dagger and some Pyro Treads. What is going on with the. Uh, Let's have a look at the net worth as well. I guess when you've got to go, you've got to go, guys, basically. So, tone goes down, and it will be... Let's see if it's out. I mean, that's all with this range. This tower is going to be in trouble. ENG... BNG still not found his level 6, and uh, that's costing them heavily with um, them pushing this in so fast. I mean, it, he's not doing badly, it's just the game is progressing so quickly. Yeah, give the tomes to Lion Ones. So, Middle Tower just kind of crumbled there, not really much of a defense. They're going to push this next one down here. Um, let's have a look and see what's happening with the tech. Tinker's current gold. Okay, he's nearly there. He needs 150 more and then he'll start to be a lot more mobile. I mean, the, doing the Dota by the numbers here, literally just going to rotate to, oh, they've already taken that. So, I mean, maybe take a Roshan, or get a couple of pickoffs, and then go high ground. Here we go, King, uh, hey, going to blink forward, uh, the alt, so many alts, the, a black hole plus a static storm, just absolutely destroying Fate Attack 786. That is the level of pickoff they need, they should be able to secure this Rax here now. I think Hay was going to be in a little bit of trouble there, but the black hole just caught them all. And um, that was that. Right, Alex is going to try and defend. He does have chakra. Alright, pull it back in. Kill those creeps. Maybe not. Ice blast on two. Not going to have much follow up behind it though. Oh, we do have a Tinker TP again though. Uh, we got a Tinker delivery system. Really see, really, really need to see an orchid on Fet Attack Seventy Six somewhere. Um, I'm not sure who gets it, who buys it. I mean, it should really be Tinker. Um, I'm not sure what Tinker's buying at the moment though. Looking for the jump. There's no blink into the trees. He's gonna walk instead. He's gonna get caught out here. There's the silence. Mini stand. Just a basic mistake there, um, Tinker, Tinker was. He needs blink before he can effectively push. I mean he can, yeah, basically. 
I mean, one trick you can do is TP to this, the wave behind. Oh, yeah, my bad. Drow, meanwhile, picks up the Aegis. I mean, he just burned through that Roshan in no time at all. It was possible because of that kill on the Tinker here by Hay. He was able just to take him out of the action completely. And now, this is going to be a high ground push. Like I say, do it by the numbers and capitalising on their. Um, capitalising when they get small gains, making them huge gains. Mm -hmm. Slight misplay there from Enigma. Just obviously dealing with high ground mischance. You could have put them up on the high ground, there wouldn't have been any issue. You're gonna backdoor Matsu here with the Aegis. He doesn't really care. He doesn't have any invis though, so escape is gonna be a bit of a problem. There is the Ice Blast on two. They're not even getting the first of the kills down. And the blink in by Puck. Looks like Puck had a dig on there. I mean, this is not looking good for Fetty Attack 786. There's the Static Storm and Timbersaw gonna get absolutely destroyed there. There's a the black hole now on Lion of all people. Was that Lion? No, Life Stealer. What a great pick off then. Meanwhile, Puck gonna blink forward once again. Dagon, I mean it's only a level 1 Dagon, but it's all they need, they're so far ahead. Um, Matzo, they're not really pumping out the damage just yet. I mean still doing enough to find uh, the racks. There's the second one down. Oh, Alex with the uh, the life sealer bomb. Are they gonna find anyone though? Oh, that was good though. They might actually get hay here. Did not manage to pop the. Um... Oh, will he get? Him? I don't think he does. He does. He gets him. He gets the monster kill. Well played, Kingy. Managing to bring down that puck there. Zeniston just gonna glimpse back at the life stealer and uh, kill a lot. Gonna be left against three. I'm not sure there's much you can do. Meanwhile, Kingy's getting kited like a motherfucker and he's. Probably gonna go down. There was a nice little lot toggle there, but it wasn't enough. Tinker though with the double kill and now the triple kill. Aegis is up. There is an ice blast, but it's wide. No blink online. Obviously, it's too early for those kind of shenanigans. But nicely played by um, Make Blood Seek a Great again. Well, in the fray, this tower somehow went down, and um, oh, they're just gonna leave the catapult to its its wolves. And a shadow blade almost finished up on dryer. Instant shadow blade, guys. Although it's gonna be Sans and Yash. That's all. Surely it's Manta. Mm, Sanji Yash and then split the Sanji Yash later. Is there any need? Will the game go that long? And push mid. Here is the march, though, and that's going to do some serious damage. Well, I mean, what about a veil on the team? I mean, would that help them? Oh, BNG. He does have the uh, stun and silence that, but nice. Pack pick off. Right, so throwing down the damage. The cold feet's on him, though, and if you get a few hits from the life stealer, that's going to be huge. There's the cold blast as well. There will be no more healing for you. And Alex comes in, securing the kill. Life Stealer gets the last hit. Static Storm on to Life Stealer though, and he is trapped inside with the Phoenix Egg. That's not going to be a fun time for him. Detonation. Only Life Stealer will fall though for a dry and a pack. 
Great trade by Kingy there. Meanwhile though, this shit's happening. We got creeps in the base, boys. Scan coming in from the dire there. Ground once again, all alts up except from Phoenix and AA and uh, Disruptor. Cedar Low gonna go in, gonna find Kingy. Kingy gonna be there with the uh, Rage up, so he's not gonna take any damage from that shit. He needs to find something to infest. He needs to infest. He's not gonna infest. Okay, he did infest. Managing to stay in the fray and boom, boom, boom. That is three down and now, hey, having to run for his life. I mean, yeah, the base is being assaulted, but. Blink eye, blink eye. It's way over here. Matzo wants to go back in. I'm not sure about that. Trying to ensure that they're not able to capitalize. Obviously, as well, because it's so soon, the respawn timers are so low. I mean, Enigma is back in five seconds' time. Um. Not even a, not even able to push the creeps at all to um, any of these towers. The puck gonna come in from the back here. No finger available. No alts. Here comes hey oh bless the black hole and all of a sudden major curtains are on the way. Kingy just gonna get blown up by this as well. Oh, the Yules will save him, but only to be dropped into the Phoenix's Sunray. Nate Bloodseeker great again, just getting thrown around here, and boom, this is gonna be GG. We're gonna see this tower go down, and a swift rotation to bottom. We'll see the end of this match. Oh, a little bit of BMing here instead. They're just going to go in and, and murder you some more. Okay, I'm going to try and do some damage to the mid towers first. And I also continue to assault the fountain. I mean, I don't think it's going to cost them at this point. But I mean, it could. There's no. Uh, there's a blade mill up on Alex, but it's not doing enough damage to everyone. Oh, Kingy though, with the murder attempt. Going on Matzo, going on MFC. He's sitting in the um, AoE from the Enigma though, without the blade mill. Just absolute suicide. Those towers are down now. The creeper on the Ancient. Not going to call GG though. It seems as it's a grand final and they don't want to give up just yet, but I mean... Bad news, boys. So there you have game one, uh, 32 to 12. Uh, De Destination Requiem with a convincing victory there. It looks like this might be a, um, you know, just a... Uh, Three matches out of the game uh, best of five. Uh, but join us in about five minutes or so for game two. See whether or not Fetty Attack 786 are able to come up with any kind of goodies.